This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness, and today we are going to talk about things I wish I knew before I started playing Drake Hollow. Let's get to it. Make use of your base storage. Your base storage is infinite, your personal storage is not. You can store your crystals in there to upgrade your drakes and still upgrade your drakes without having to pull the crystals out. So make sure you store your crystals and anything else you don't need right now in your base storage so that you have the max amount of space available when you're out collecting. You're going to get quests to tell you to leave the area that you're currently in. Take your time in the area that you're in and don't rush to leave it. Make sure you explore all of the islands and gather as much resources as possible before you move on to the next chapter of the game. The drakes are also your main source of power so you want to be sure to find all of the drakes in your current area because once you leave if you haven't found any drakes you won't get them you just leave them behind before you leave the area that you're in pick up your waypoints you actually get your waypoints back when you pick them up this is not only useful for picking them up and placing them back down to make sure you get their placement just right, but it's also very useful for ensuring that you do not have to recraft a buttload more waypoints when you move to the next area. You'll have a ton of them already stocked up, ready to go to leave them in your path that you travel. Weapons have durability and will eventually break on you. Don't let them break on you. Sell them to the magpie once they turn red and they're about to break or watch their durability and when it gets super low, then sell them to the magpie. That way you squeeze the maximum amount that you can get out of a weapon out of it. Not only do you get to use it to its maximum efficiency by beating the crap out of things, but you also get to squeeze that last little bit of shiny objects out of it, which may help you at some point when you need that last little bit of crafting material that you can't manage to find. Don't level your drakes too fast. This could be extremely detrimental to your gameplay and make it so that you can't keep up with their needs and then they will eventually die on you. Level them slow and make sure that you're able to fulfill all of their needs before you level them again. The last thing you want to do is level up a drake that has a buff that you're really enjoying that's making gameplay easy on you and then not being able to keep up with its needs and then it dying on you. Unlock these things first in this order as soon as you're able to unlock them. At level 3, unlock the treadmill. At level 4, unlock the blighted water pump. At level 5, unlock the cleansing water cooler and the lobster pen. The reason you want to do this is because those are infinite sources of food and water. You do get the wells, but they don't give a lot of water. They are an infinite source of water. They just don't give very much. The water coolers give a heck of a lot more. And the lobster pen is an infinite source of food that you don't actually have to go out and gather things for. You can unlock whatever you want, however you want to go about feeding them beforehand, but it becomes a pain in the butt because everything before that that involves you going out and collecting seeds and growing them in the garden in order to feed them or filling the cauldron full of food. The lobster pen is your first infinite food source and all you need to provide it is water and electricity, which you should be able to do because you will have already unlocked the pump and the treadmill. This one is super handy because it keeps you from having to recraft an item over and over and over again, and that is the decoy. You can pick the decoy back up to refresh its hit points. So if it takes some damage, run over, hit X to go into your inspect mode, and then pick it up, and then just place it back down whenever you want, and it will have refreshed hit points. Last but not least, we're going to talk about dismantling and some of the advantages you can get from that. So first off, dismantling stuff, it gets you all of the resources back from what I'm able to tell. So once you're to the point where you are using fences to help defend your base, don't repair the fences because if you repair them, they cost you one wood. Now that's not a lot, not really that big of a deal, but you can save that one wood by going into inspect mode and disassembling the fence. Then you can just rebuild the fence. You get all the resources back except for the charms, but to the charms are infinite you just you need more just go talk to your drakes but you'll get the two wood back and then you can just rebuild the fence for the same cost that you used to 
place it the first time and it saves you that one wood. From what I can tell, this works on pretty much everything. You get all of the build resources back, but you don't get the charms back, but charms are infinite, so who cares? And that's all I have for you today. If you found this video helpful, consider hitting the subscribe button. I'll have more Drake Hollow videos out, tutorials, guides, all that good stuff in the future. So you want to make sure that you get notified when I put those out. Okay, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. Y'all are absolutely amazing people. If you'd like to join my elite crew Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time. Thanks for watching.